Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about CLC filter. Guys, this is one of the most basic and small filter, guys. It's really, really easy. Or it is also called as a pi section filter. As the symbol pi, you can see here. Two cap excuse me, two capacitors and an inductor form a shape pi. Okay. So basically, initially, the current, or oh, sorry, that's not the current, the input from the full wave rectifier's output travels through the capacitor so that the capacitor blocks DC and allows AC so the, so the AC is grounded and the DC content moves towards the inductor so that the inductor blocks AC and allows DC so that here DC enters and here the most of the AC content is removed and the DC will travel to the load so that's how basically this works so initially it goes through the capacitor it blocks DC and allows AC so AC is grounded, so that's vanish, that will vanish. So then it is passed through inductor when AC is blocked and DC is passed. Again, it is passed through the capacitor, it blocks DC and allows AC. So AC is grounded, hence it is a CLC filter or a pi section filter. So if you want the formula, it is nothing but ripple factor is equal to root 2 XC1 by RL into XC2 by XL. So if you substitute the values such as our basic values, that is frequency is equal to 50 hex c is equal to microfarad l is equal to henry so we're gonna get an equation that is nothing but ripple factor is equal to 5700 by l c1 c2 rl so in this case you'll be getting a triangular graph guys if you do for this so basically i hope everyone got a small idea on these all types of filters so basically if you ask which of the following could be the best filter obviously from the diagram only you can say that CLC filter is going to be the best filter as it has three stages that is the first capacitor middle inductor and again capacitor so the maximum amount possible will be removed in this condition so basically even after this we are not going to get the exact output guys that is nothing but our DC supply so we are not going to get that so for that we need to have a regulator okay guys in the next tutorial we will be going through regulator interaction of regulator that's it thank you thanks for watching